thank you so very much for being here for another episode of Blooms for You, where I say thank you to individual subscribers, viewers, and anybody that has commented on my channel and the list of names as I go through. Today we have some more blooms to dedicate, and I want to say thank you to everybody who views this video, who's been here for a long, long time, who is not mentioned today, or has just come in for the first time, who is also obviously not going to be mentioned here today, because I don't know that you're here unless you comment. But for everybody who watches this video who is not named here today, my Epidendrum Multiforme crossed with Epidendrum Capricorn Nu blooms for you. I think I'm going to get away with it one more time, one more time, because yes, I've been trimming and preening and pruning, especially up here. I've got some failing blooms already, but in general, uh, I think we're going to get away with it and have some gorgeous little blooms still to look at and to dedicate. Maybe if I turn it like so. maybe stop jiggling. There we go. <laughs> Love it. On a hot day like this, these are very, very fresh colors. Late afternoon, I thought I'd bring it out into the sunshine as they are very, very difficult to film, at least with my camera. I don't think the camera knows what to focus on. Try this. Cute, no fragrance. Anyway, I ramble. We got things to do, we've got blooms to see, we've got people to thank. So let's go and have a look, see what else has been going on and whose name came up on the list. Look at this again. <laughs> I know we've seen Jamelia before, but have we ever seen her with three blooms? I haven't, this is the first for me, but we've already dedicated one bloom. So we've got two more blooms open, one on the left, one on the right. And I'm dedicating those two blooms to Melanie F and G Gool. I hope I pronounced that name correctly. If in doubt, the name will be on the screen. The both of you have a bloom each from my Jumelia Aurescence, my little Caspar. Let's go in a little bit closer. I know that the sun is pretty bright, but I'm not going to complain about that. So I hope that you can still see the detail. If not, next time I shall film in the shade again. But you can see that the middle bloom is already losing its luster. They are very, very short lived. Yes, I've had some weather conditions that was not conducive to long lasting blooms. But in general, I find that these blooms are very short lived, even if the weather conditions were favorable. So the middle bloom is already going over. I don't have the heart to cut it off until it is actually completely gone. But the other two have opened up and we still have two more buds to go. Isn't this just the cutest of Orchids. I have to say, I'm in love. I'm in love. She's about 20 centimeters now from the base to the top of the orchid. And uh, <clears throat> I grow her in a soap dish for the bathroom. Soap, sponge, whatever you might want to call it. But you can see where the suckers would go in right here. Perfect, I think, for this Jumelia aborescence that has been in my collection now almost four years. And she came when she was just knee high to a grasshopper, like so. She is now growing plantlets around the side. I've got one that started last year doing really well. And then there's three more coming along the base of the orchid on the other side. Loving her life in her little soap dish and with lava rock only. So Melanie F and Ji Guo, these two new blooms, they bloom for you to say thank you so very, very much for your support here on my channel. I can tell you that she has a very, very slight fragrance. I could pinpoint a hint of jasmine, but it's not intense to my nose at all. Considering how tiny the blooms are, you'd think that they would be in your face. That is not the case, but they are adorable, adorable. They just have such character, I think. And from the front, they look like the little Caspar the ghost. The pollen looks like two little eyes. Yes, I love this orchid. And it is my pleasure to say thank you via these two blooms for your support on my channel, Melanie F and G Guo.
going from one cutie right to the next cutie. Also with a long spur, delicate blooms, but this one is fragrant, like a beautiful, beautiful breeze of jasmine, lemon, and honeysuckle. It just wafts in your face in the evening. I would like to call it La Daba de Noche, but we have that kind of a tree here, Lady of the Night. But this one, oh my goodness, when La Dama de Noche is not in bloom, Neophenicia falcata has that magical, magical summer fragrance that hangs in the air at night. It's gorgeous. Leanne W. I have given away one spike. This is the first to open. This one was the second to open. And here we are now already with the third spike opening. And this one, Lian W, is for you. These cute little blooms on that spike, they bloom for you to say thank you to you so very much for your support on my channel. Oh, they are so cute. At least what I see through the viewfinder, thank you. I have a little bit of a cloud cover coming through now. That helps a lot. They are just adorable. I like me my big, blousy, colorful cattleyas and all the very, very unique blooms. But this, the simplicity of a neofalcata. There is just something so magical and whimsical about it. And when you think of the fragrance that comes with it at night, Lian W, I want to say thank you so very, very much for your support on my channel. I really, really appreciate the fact that you're here. I hope that you're doing well in your part of the world. And I also hope that eventually you might get around to seeing this video and know that these blooms for my third spike of my Neofacata, they bloom for you. From the dainty to the giants. Ta-da! I present you my first ever Stanhopia blooms in the blooming alley of ninja orchids. They are amazing. I have four blooms, even though one is sort of tucked back behind the other, I'll show you just now. First of all, Grace Discoveries, Legume et Fleurs, Tom Jobling, and Laura Eliezer. One bloom each, but huge blooms. Look at these. Oh, they're amazing. They're stunning. They only opened this morning. When I came down, I wanted to take another picture to see how they're developing. And boom, they had opened like that overnight. Absolutely impressive. So I'm just going to say the names again because I will get easily distracted by looking at what I'm looking at. <laughs> the four blooms goes to Grace Discoveries, Legume et Fleur, Tom Jobling, and Laura Eliezer. These massive blooms are accompanied with a massive thank you for your support on my channel. You're very, very much appreciated. And as I stand here, well, stand here, go to the deep south, go to the west, over to the east, every single breeze throws the fragrance of these blooms at me. It's like I'm being followed by a little cloud of Big Red Chewing Gum. It's a cinnamon kind of chewing gum that I used to enjoy very much in the United States. I don't know if you're familiar with that, but it is a very heady cinnamon atmosphere everywhere. Incredible. If this were in a grow room in the house, I would probably have to open doors and windows to be able to tolerate it. But outside, with the breeze flapping around everywhere, I am never without this fragrance. I can't say enough about these blooms. I have seen Stanhopia blooms a lot on the internet, in pictures, but I've never had the honor to experience them for myself. And what a sight. At the point of recording, it's a no ID. I was given a name, a very fantastical name called Chocolat et Neuf. Don't know, don't know if that is the name. I have no idea, experience-wise, how to really identify Stanhopia blooms on the internet because there's so many crosses, so many variables. I mean, even just looking at the structure of the lip with the column. I mean, at the front, you think this is an octopus and I'm getting goo all over me. This looks like some kind of a squid and that's how they feel, like a squid, waxy, tough. And I would say 
if they weren't dry, they would feel slimy. And, and, and amazing. I, I know I'm babbling on a bit, but hey, these are my first Stanhopia blooms ever to grace my blooming alley. So thank you so much for your patience listening to me babble away in awe and amazement. They are, of course, a little bit difficult to film as well because, yes, we are in the shade and I can't take the baskets anywhere. I can't. I can't hang them anywhere else to show you the full scope and the beauty of what is happening here. I mean, for real, for real. <laughs> Yes, we're going to linger a little bit more. There we go. Finally in focus. Out of focus, in focus. Look at this. Astounding. I'm having a tough time also just taking images of these blooms. I think the camera doesn't know what to do. And neither do I. Except say thank you so very, very much. To Grace Discoveries, Legume et Fleurs, Tom Jobling, and Laura Eliezer. Even from the back, look at this. They feel so incredibly alien. I will be doing a video about them separately because I'm already at six minutes with just looking at these guys. Anyway, thank you to the four of you. My first Stanhopia blooms that smell of big red chewing gum. Massive thank you with massive blooms. Prostechia cochleata, third spike, is now at its prime for Arlan Ten Clay. Arlan, December was the first time I saw you on my channel. So December of 20, and now we are at the end of July. Incredible. I am sorry that it's taken me so long to get to your name. However, here we are with my Prostechia cochleata, my third spike, to say thank you very, very much to you for your support here on my channel. Really, really appreciate it. This orchid smells divine. She doesn't look really good in the sun. That's why we're back here in the shade where I can also enhance the details a little bit. Yes, this clip is working out nicely. I was a bit concerned because my other filming of the cochleata was a little bit, mm, you could see the detail, but you couldn't really appreciate it that much because of how reflective the sun is on this orchid because it has crystalline textures as well in the blooms. It smells divine. My whole blooming alley is permeated by its fragrance during the day before the night fragrance orchids come into action. And sometimes I have to be really vigilant now with some aphids on this orchid. I thought we were past that. Eventually we will be, but for now, there's still some little bit, little guys here trying to make themselves comfortable, but they're easy to get rid of. Otherwise, no pest issues. Woohoo, touch wood with this orchid. And she is going nuts in her pot as well. Check out all those new growths coming. Let me zoom out. Look at this. One, two, there's two of that bulb that is actually in bloom, which is astounding. One more from another bulb that is in bloom, which is also amazing. And look at these two growths here from another bulb that is in bloom. So this orchid has really gotten the vibe going and it's going to be doing well also for us next year with more spikes. But for now, this is about you, Arlan Ten Clay. Thank you very, very much for your support on my channel. It is so very much appreciated. Frank, that's it. Frank, <laughs> Sologny Lime Bay. The third bloom has opened. It's been open now about five days. I am very glad that I have a day that isn't blowing a hooli out here and I can put her outside in the late afternoon sun so that I can film her and dedicate this bloom to you. Thank you, Frank, very much for your support on my channel. Very, very much appreciate it. I mean, Sologeny Lime Bay is one of those blooms on my channel that just goes around and around and comes and goes, especially now with her sequential spike. 
every two or every three weeks, she will pop up again and I get to dedicate another bloom. This time it's the third and the fourth one is already starting to form in the back. Oh, but she is so pretty. I love it in this afternoon light. You can really appreciate more of the detail, the translucent petals and sepals. And I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but there's a little bit of a crystalline reflection in those petals and sepals, but it's more transparent than anything else. Absolutely beautiful, love. Not so much the fragrance. Yes, I'm going to repeat it for everybody who's been on my channel and now knows what this smells like. And if there's anybody new out there, well, let me tell you, as gorgeous as she is, she smells like a dusty room. And no, it's not unpleasant, but it's a fragrance you just want to go and open a window to let some fresh air in and everything is going to be okay again. That's what she smells like. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. The delicacy of this bloom is remarkable. And that is only a visual of her. She is pretty, pretty tough to the touch. Love it. But what I also love and I hardly show is leaves. Oh my goodness. A beautifully healthy, no marks, sologeny leaf. Fresh green, gorgeous. And I just wanted to show that because in my climate, eventually these kinds of leaves look like this as humidity drops and heat rises, which is a big, big shame, but that's why I'm showing you this leaf right here. Yum. <laughs> Anybody there for a salad? Yeah, anyway, <clears throat> Frank, thank you very, very much for your support on my channel. My Sologeny Lime Bay third bloom blooms for you. So tempting. Oh, Hibiki is so tempting. Next time. Next time, let's go back to Multiforme and Capricornu just one last time for this season. So I've put her in the shade now, just in case the footage doesn't come out great in the sun. Let's give us a little another look-see here in the shade, not necessarily with the bloom that's gonna go next, but oh my. I don't know what it is about green and white blooms or green blooms, even if it's not an orchid, green blooms. They do it for me. I love them. I'm going to have to one day dig deep into my memory bank and figure out what is it about green blooms that I enjoy so, so much. Anyway, one last look and a massive, massive thank you to all of you for your support on my channel. It is so very much appreciated. It's hard for me to express. Know it. I say it. I mean it. Have a great day, everybody. Please stay safe and take care. Bye.